order at 728. It stands for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Michelle, the coordinator at CHR, to uh, Detective May, Detective Devon, and the SPD. It has been great working with the Simsbury Police Department. Very professional, undeniably dedicated, and always willing to collaborate. A resident to Sergeant Teagle and the SPD. Thank you for checking on us when our son accidentally called 911. Your service to our family and our community is greatly appreciated. A resident slash child to the SPD. I like you because you stop crime, and I would like to become one of your teammates because I always wanted to become a police officer. Uh, a resident to Officer Russell, two letters were received from the family stating their appreciation towards Officer Russell after their brother passed away. He showed kindness and is a great asset to the SPD. From a New Jersey resident to the SPD, this family is sending letters to as many law enforcement agencies as possible to show their appreciation. They are thankful for our service and pray everyone stays safe. Our society would not survive without your service. Uh, from Dale Farmer, Farmer Collision Analysis to the SPD. Thank you, SPD, for your hospitality and being so welcoming. Thank you very much. Next, we'll look at the minutes from January 13th, the regular meeting. Any of the commissioners have any comments on the minutes? And I'll accept a motion to approve. So moved. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next is the minutes from the special meeting on January 21st. I will entertain a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public audience? Aye. Are you considered public audience officer? I don't know. <laughs> Would you like to be? Okay. Old business. From the acting chairman's position, I have no old business. Move on to reports. As the acting chairman, I don't have a report. <laughs> Chief, may we have your report? Yes, you may. Uh, so we had uh, pension arbitration today for the police union, and so hopefully we will uh, have a decision within the next few months. And then uh, dispatch negotiations are still ongoing for their collective uh, bargaining. Uh, as far as personnel goes, uh, Connor Arnold was released from training in January, shortly after our last meeting, and he's doing very well. He's on days right now. Uh, Corey Thomas, as you're aware, submitted a resignation last week. Uh, in January, dispatcher Paskowski resigned to stay at home with her newborn. Uh, God bless her. Yes. And Officer uh, Robles Claudio will return to work this week after a long medical leave, so we're happy that she will be able to return to us. Uh, and dispatcher Zabidio has already returned after being out for also a non-work related Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Chief, the consolidated monthly report. Anything that we should pay attention to? Nothing. Just accept the uh, the amount of lead that's being used it continues to be significantly high. Average of three or four members out. A lot of flu going around. Is that part of it or not? That's part of it, but also um, Officer Robles was still out for that, for that entire month. We had uh, one still on uh, training, uh, Connor. We had uh, two vacancies, uh, and uh, this veteran is yeah, so, yeah. so on, on average, we're asking about three to five officers or members out on a regular basis, in addition to the occasional you know, one, two, three days from the set. 
and the overtime has taken a hit. It certainly has. Yes, it has. Any other comments on the consolidated monthly report? No. Okay. Okay. New business. Okay. The chairman, acting chairman, has no new business. Mr. Fleming? Nothing. Ms. Clark? Nothing. Okay. Budget update, Chief. Yes. So in here I have some updated. Uh, these are updated budget submissions. So back in January, uh, I submitted uh, our budget to the town manager. And since then, there have been some minor changes. This does not show any decrease in uh, service equipment or personnel from the original submission. Uh, but since then, we received like, a notice from the state of Connecticut that every time we send somebody to post to the academy um, for the six months that they're there, it's gone up from $2,000 in recruit to $3,800 or $1,800. So you'll see a $3,600 increase in one section here alone for that because we anticipate uh, generally two slots per year. Uh, and then also the gasoline went up slightly, so that was a roughly, uh, roughly an $800 to $1,000, I believe, increase for the full grade and secure was not exactly what what we thought it was. So just some minor, uh, minor increases. But what I did do was, um, and one of the requests from, a, from one of the commissioners is put together a bunch of these charts just able to quickly summarize and see the difference from the current year to next year with police, with dispatch, and then with police and dispatch combined. So those are, those are there for, for your review, for your question, for anything. And then also uh, some new uh, capital request forms for some of the items we had talked about before, um, such as the body-worn cameras, the NDTs that are needed to be replaced, the car cameras that are needed to be replaced, um, the two patrol supervisor vehicles, and the utility terrain vehicle. Um, all had some slight differences because the original quotes were a year, year and a half old, so there's some minor adjustments there. And then we added the trailer on with the utility terrain vehicle, which we did not have a price for. So those are just updated forms for the same things that we requested. And this is following the guidance that the commission provided? It is. Yes, it is. Will we get these out to the two members? Of the yes, I have these here. Okay. Okay. All right, so the next meeting, or uh, well, the next date to keep in mind is February, on around February 24th, I'm not sure if that date has changed, that's when the town manager plans to submit her proposed budget to the Board of Select. That's, that's usually a Saturday meeting? When no, do we the workshop that? is in March. In March. Saturday okay. workshop is in March. Yeah. And I will get the date for you. That's a March workshop for the budget. Yes. Commissioner okay. Fleming, any thoughts on the budget? No, sir. Okay, that's something for us to review. Any other comments or topics that you'd like to discuss, Commissioner Fleming? Did you um, want to do anything on? the uh, Police Commission Association. Um, I think the Chief had sent something out about whether or not we want to join. In the past, we have not. Um, what was it, 1500 bucks for a membership? Something like that? No, I think total it ended up being uh, the first year around $625. Uh, yeah, around $625 for the first year because there is a, a one-time application fee and then the so I think it's around 625 for all members to join, and then year after that is 50 or 75 dollars. 
um, was not factored in their, their meetings. Their meetings often cost money because they're, they're dinners or lunches. Um, and so I have not heard back from that association yet to figure out what sort of that average is per year. And I'm sure those meetings aren't close to some break. No, I think this is down in the southern part of, of the state mostly. I think they're based on orange. Well, we're not, we're not under the gun to do anything. I mean, I'd rather talk to the other two commissioners to see what they want to do. I mean, it's, they may have an interest in participating. Mm -hmm. I think Commissioner Long said that they that he was a member of years and years ago, yeah. and that there was some value, so it's something to consider. But well, maybe whenever we see it again. I know Mike and I talked with them a little bit when, um, maybe two years ago, as we try to get used to the new town charter, uh, to see what other uh, police commissions are doing, how they work with uh, a town manager and police and everything. Uh, so I think Mike has some good contacts down here. I think I'd like to have his guidance on what he thinks we want to do. I would go with what he suggests. I, I did seek some guidance on you know, whether there needs to be a separate budget, because there is no police commission budget or if that would be that they would prefer for that to be rolled into this or is there already one within the town manager's office for that? For memberships. So yeah. There probably is. Like costs and you know, towns of small towns I don't know, since we belong to that. We belong to CCM and all that. So yeah. you might ask, see what see if that if yeah. we were to do it, would that be something that the town would pick up in general government or yeah. So I did that and initially it's create create my own. We've created an own budget for it. So we'll, we'll work through that and figure out what the best plan is. <laughs> Chief, to go back, you thought it was somewhere around $50 after the first year? Yes. Yeah, $50 per member. Uh, let's see. I had it. Uh, I think it was. Possibly fifty dollars per member for the initial application fee, and then seventy-five dollars per member annually. For a member of the commission. Per member of the commission, yes. Yeah, so after the first year, seventy-five per. Okay. Well, we'll save that for. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. And I'll send that information around. Thank you. Uh, I'll hear right. back from them. If not, I'll put a contact name on there. Whatever. Thank you. Commissioner Caulfield, do you have anything else? I do. Nothing. Well, with nothing else to be said or stated, we'll go for an adjournment. And the time is 7.42. So moved. Can I have second. a second? Accepted. We are adjourned. Have a vote. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.